Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space out in my backyard. And today we have got to get the greenhouse under control. Uh, it's got a lot going on in it. Like we need to clean it up. We're also going to put up a garden bed that we got from Vivor, a raised garden bed, which I'm excited about uh, because like I said, this year I'm switching this into a growing space as opposed to a seed starting space because we have the other greenhouse. So, like all of this, <laughs> we got to get that straightened up. And this is where we're going to put the other garden bed. Um, you just saw me clean this one out. And we're going to amend that one as well. We are keeping our seating area because I absolutely want an area to come and sit. We're also going to start some tomato seeds today. I am a few days behind. I should have done it Wednesday, but I did not get that done. Um, we're probably going to clean these out too. I had strawberries in them. Sorry about the dog barking and all of the noise. I live in the urban setting. <laughs> um, and my hair, it is going to blow up while I'm out here because it's been raining and it's very moist and I am natural. So that is going to blow up, but we are going to, oh, I forgot I had this thing. A thermometer <laughs> anywho we're gonna get started y'all i think we're gonna put the bed up first i really do want to put some of the uh weed barrier down from vivor that i have too because i have a lot of that left but we kind of got to move some of this stuff out first to see what we're even working with and i'm not very good at like deciding on sizes from like seeing width and length and all that stuff so i also don't know how big this bed is gonna be but my plan is to put it over on this side. Okay, I went and found some boxes because I need these for, I'm gonna, I, I don't wanna put the weed barrier under uh, the garden bed. I want to put boxes under the garden bed so that they will break down on their own. So, I went and found some boxes in the house from the things that we have purchased. <laughs> um, and we're gonna put this under the garden bed. So I want to get this laid really quick. And this is kind of how I do all my garden beds. When I put them down, I put a cardboard under them so that... Ow! Shout! And it's bleeding. So when people ask, how do I garden with nails? I just garden. <laughs> and when things like that happen, it just happens. <laughs> But I'll be right back because I got to go take care of this. Okay, so I'm back and I fixed my finger. But I want to show y'all something. Um, if you remember, I had the shelves right here and I had a whole bunch of seeds from um, seed pods from last year that I was supposed to save uh, to grow later. But well, let me show you something. Look at all of these volunteer brassicas. They are everywhere. That's a patch of weeds. But all of these are brassicas where the seeds just sprouted because they fell down and no i'm not going to try to save any of them <laughs> i'm going to uh i'm gonna put this this uh cardboard down and we're gonna get the rolling <laughs> okay so like i said i'm going to put the cardboard down now one thing that i may have to do because i'm not sure how big this bed is going to be where i have the bricks that's holding down the uh greenhouse my dog went through this 
she is a mess <laughs> i may have to turn this outward and put the bricks on the outside we'll see once we get the garden bed put up again this is a garden bed from vivor and there will be a link and there will be a discount code all of that will be down in the description box um but vivor great company been working with them for a while great products so if you are interested make sure you check out the link below it was so funny how that happened <laughs> I literally was like, what is all of these weeds? And then I said, those are not weeds. Those are brassicas. <laughs> what kind of brassicas? I have no idea. I had all kinds of seed pods in here that I was saving and I was supposed to, you know, come back and save them. And I didn't. <laughs> all right, so let's get to unboxing. Well, I'm going to see here. I'm very excited to have uh, another garden bed because I really was saying like I want to grow in this space this year I still don't know what I'm gonna grow in it if y'all have any suggestions let me know because we still have the other bed that uh, they gave me last year that we're gonna need to plant too I was thinking of trying to grow some more tomatoes in here uh, maybe some peppers I'm not sure some pretty flowers maybe I'm also probably gonna lose the rug um, I was thinking of putting it under the table instead of like having it as where you walk in cuz I don't know how big this bed gonna be <laughs> like I said earlier and several times now y'all probably like girl we already heard you say that anyway oh got my stool in here plan on using that that's from home and garden friends oh okay this is to go across the top, of course. Uh, more gloves and little tools and some labels. So that's cool. Um, I got black. I don't know why I got black because it doesn't match. Black is my favorite color to wear. Uh, but they didn't have purple. So my next, my next favorite color. Whew, quite a few pieces to this. We, we probably going to have to use the directions this time. <laughs> Lots of nuts and bolts. Lots of nuts and bolts. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. And of course, the manual. If the heaviness tells me about the sturdiness, then this is gonna be a very sturdy bed. <laughs> now, now I'm gonna tell you something I'm excited about. And I know that when they put that plastic film on there, that is to protect it. And it did come in plastic. But I'm super excited that that plastic was not attached to this metal. That's one of the parts I hate the most about putting up these garden beds. I love having these raised garden beds. But pulling that plastic off, I absolutely hate it. Because <laughs> if you are not new here, you know I like to do everything as quick as possible. And being able to just pull this plastic off like this, I love it. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Now this, it is a lot of plastic. Uh, but either way, it was going to have plastic on it. And this was much easier than having to pull that, that film off. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it does have the plastic on it. Uh, I hate it, y'all. I hate it so much. <laughs> Am I the only one who hates it so much? So, I I was wrong. There is plastic on it. I mean, still, it's good for protection. I, I just hate it so bad. If you get a good piece and it pulls all the way off, great. If you don't, oh my God. I'm sure there's plastic left on some of my garden beds because... I just cannot. I cannot. Well, I'll see y'all. See y'all in a few once I get all of this plastic off of this garden bed. <laughs> It's gonna fit perfectly in the space. You need it four, and then you have the other four that goes right here. 
So it'll fit perfect. I have a little bit of walkway. Pretty excited. So this is actually a huge garden bed, y'all. We are not gonna use both sides because if we did, it would be this wide. I don't have any space. So we only gonna put one side up, you know, for the ends. And I was thinking I could also make it a little bit shorter, but I think I'm gonna leave it the length that it is, but not as wide as it is. And it's much taller than I expected it to be too. So we're probably gonna have to go get some more soil, <laughs> which is fine. And actually, if I knew it was this tall, I would have tried to find things to put at the bottom of it. And actually, I take that back. My son just raked leaves and things out the front yard. So I may, I'm probably going to fill the bottom of it with leaves so that I don't have to go buy any more soil. And it will settle. But if I'm lucky, I'll take care of my compost pile this year. And we won't have to worry about it when it's time to uh, fill it back up from, from it settling. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be my situation today. My son couldn't have raked the leaves at a better time. I will say a lot of them came off in one piece, so that's okay. This one is not. This one is not coming off in one piece, y'all. But I only have one left to pull apart. Well, to pull this plastic off after this, so. So that's cool. Yeah, that's really fine. I had to enlist the help of friend, but we got it. Got it together. She put in the last few ones, and then we're gonna start filling it. And I'm gonna get yeah, on that side. That's it. Um, I'm gonna go get the leaves and stuff from out the front. I will be back. <laughs> All right. So I got some of the leaf bags, and we are just going to dump it, dump it in, which will fill up the bottom. Um, again. It'll break down over time and the soil will end up settling, but it's a good way to fill it without uh, having to use a bunch of soil. You can also, of course, do like sticks and things. I don't have any, but I have plenty of bags of leaves. Such a waste of my bags. <laughs> I definitely did not have to pull it like that, but but I'm getting tired. I untied it. But I didn't. I'll be back. Are we recording? We are. Got more. Great way to reuse your waste. Well, your lawn waste. out here today because it's been raining these are my last two bags so that's all i got oh and i decided not to use uh the all the pieces because i wanted to have space to get over to my table where i plan to start seeds and all of that stuff up pot them and all of that so that's why now we got some kellogg's organic uh, garden bed soil that we're gonna put in here and then we have some compost that I got from Home Depot because I didn't feel like going to Lowe's. We all know I like black cow uh, but Home Depot doesn't sell it in my area. Lowe's does but I want to go to Lowe's so we trying, we're trying something different. <laughs> four bags of this. This is the compost I'm going to use.
And now we are ready to plant. All right, y'all. So we finished the greenhouse. I did it by myself because I was just tired and ready to uh, get this done. And then tomorrow I want to make sure that I get my tomatoes planted. And I might do it tonight. I don't know if I do. I record it. Anyway, let me show y'all the new greenhouse. <laughs> don't you just love it? And it's not a new greenhouse. It's just a redone greenhouse. So this uh, shelf kept falling over in the other greenhouse. So I brought it back over here. There were a bunch of ants, just like last year, in my containers that I plant in. So I figured if I put them on the shelf, then maybe, just maybe, the ants won't keep coming to it. So we will see. We still have the ability to have our seating area, so I'm excited about that. Everything that was under the table is now over here or in the trash. We've cleaned off the top of the table, and then I have my home and garden trend stool so I can sit here and do what I need to do. And of course, the beautiful new garden bed from Vivor. So that was my plans for the day, was to make sure I got this greenhouse cleaned out, get that garden bed up, because it's gonna be time for planting soon, and I'm excited about that. <laughs> 